Oh no, Dan, it says you're pl it says you're playing Fallout New Vegas as Sheldon Cooper. Hi audience, it's me, your intro. I'm the That seems very unlike That seems very unlikely, Dan. I think his dad just beats him. <laughs> That's where he hides from his dad. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. The lieutenant is it. Yeah, you're gonna steal you're gonna steal this mirror. kid's amphetamine. What kind of monster are you? Way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. What kind of monster steals? Perhaps not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However, see that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? The secret path the local kids use. I didn't, Your Honor, I didn't mean to steal from those children. It was the prank. You're in Detroit if Detroit was, like, worse. It has less black people. That's why it's worse. Dan, you're not playing Pathfinder. You're playing this first, you idiot! <laughs> Wake up, more crack. Once you have that crack, you'll be unstoppable. Probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance over the container yard. Then, he no, turns Dan back actually does still say you're playing a solver. Fabric flapping in the wind. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even joking. No, I just I just re I just reloaded the stream. Yeah, it still says you're playing Absolver. <laughs> Disco Elysium starts part two. Game Absolver. English action RPG fighting adventure game. <laughs> it's one of those things. Uh... You didn't change it hard enough, apparently. Uh... Uh, 
I have no idea how many people are watching Absolver. And be like, this is the... This is the true objective way to play the game, by the way. If you play it differently, you're wrong. Get out. The cloak? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it? Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meter stops? Whenever you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. The cloak looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Who knows what its pockets may hide? What are we doing? We're awfully close to breaking into the industrial harbor. Or it could be that we are just exploring. Well, actually, you have a very small chance of making it. That's not no chance. It depends... It depends where I'm jumping. Huh? Oh, I doubt that. Ooh, I'm British. Oh, oh. I only jump when me wibwob is properly flip flopped. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, why aren't you a meth addict? Huh? Why aren't you in the German army? Why aren't you? <laughs> That's fair. You, no, you do need to sing karaoke. Why aren't you singing karaoke? Are you a bitch? Him. There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More relatable. You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Keep it. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. There is Frit nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't, there's a greenhouse here. And a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Hmm. Pretty clever. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks Save easier me. and allow you to retry them. You're just too much of a bitch. What, you never sniffed a corpse before, huh? Um, prove it, source? I can't believe it's snowing again. Hey, hi everyone. It Welcome. felt like springtime You're in a just stream. a few days ago. It's two people, huh? That's an everyone. <laughs> but yes. It's debatable where we count as two people. Yeah. Okay, one of you, um, uh, one of you is, um, uh, sad and Polish, the other one is sad and Canadian. Sure. Prove me wrong. End them with it. <laughs> Why easy on that stuff? It gave me a run out of methamphetamine? Headache. Well, uh, this might Vibing. be the last snow we get. At least I hope so. Snow has nutrients in it. Helps everything green up in the spring. 
At least that's what my grandma always told me. Yes, think about the cute grandma, not the weird stuff. Well, yeah, how are y'all doing? I've been fine, thank you. Stop looking at her. Look around. What do you see? Michael. That's right. Michael. And the canal. The bookstore. The harbor gates. This is a great vantage point for oh. keeping an eye on you. You should just. You should try to make the jump. Oh. You should try to make the jump. Huh? It's eight percent chance of working. Huh? You're, you're still at the beginning. No, of course not. Hmm? Um, uh, I yeah, don't he's, he what just this started. Um, uh, he just uh, he just the started. Um, uh, right? last time he was playing, right? but also it was Can't late, so he went to bed pretty soon after he started. He's always giving me trouble. It is because he sent you to harass me. He's playing you. He hates the police, okay? A lot of people do around here. You've been resting here for quite a while, haven't you? Yes, I'm tired. I understand. The RCM isn't welcome here, and the locals want to keep an eye on us. This silence. I'll be right back. I'm gonna the take out my of smiles. That's okay, Miss. Do what you have to do. I think we're take done it. here. Let's go. No, an American cop investigation, an American cop murder investigation is trying to figure out how to say that this was in self-defense. So. There, he still is, looking I'm right actually gonna take my out now. with his white eyes. They're, they're actually the really good boots. You should take entirely them. dedicated to that corpse. The ammonia only makes it worse. The combination forces tears out of your ducts. You managed wow, to keep it in Christian language. The second time, not so much. <laughs> when the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. Are you okay, officer? You're facing tough odds here. It's aggravated further by alcohol withdrawal. No. This is a two-man assignment because it needs two officers to complete. I need your help. You need to get your shit together. We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. You've gained a thought. When oh, this dialogue fairy. is over, go to your thought cabinet and internalize it for special bonuses and effects. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. That launch is going to... Actually, it doesn't change my way. Just here we go. about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, 
Let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions never. No, you've got this. There's the ball. Oh, you're you're the game. Elderly. This is a very fun check. See? Uh, you're munching and complaining. I've ruined my concentration. Ah, mon dieu. The pain in my back is unbearable. I can't even say if it's in my back or hip anymore. Feels like it's in both. I hope you pass out from it, you goddamn jellyfish. Men like you are the reason this nation is sinking. Trying to throw something as close to a predetermined point as possible. Measuring. This must be the age-old game of Patank. Shush. Ignore them. They don't know what they're doing. They're old. You are letting down yourself and the team. Get in the damn game already. Eyes on the ball, Dinky Winky. This felt wrong. Wrong like touching your sister's breast. Mon dieu! Good job, officer. That was an excellent throw. There are no two more harmful words an athlete can hear than good job. And this was downright embarrassing. Your muscle memory knew what to do and went for it. But there were gaps. Yeah, gaps you tried to fill with thinking. We don't think in sports. We do. It felt like you were going for a thrust or a lunge. There was definitely gonna be jumping. Maybe you scored a point, but this is a fiasco. What are you talking about? You just executed a pretty much perfect petong throw. How are you ever going to get the officer's shit off your nose, Gaston? Or even climb out of his ass? Probably because those rooster pants are squeezing you senseless. <laughs> Whatever happened to practical? Durable. Revachol made. Now, what can I do for you? Look who's talking. That cockatoo uniform must give him a real advantage when fighting in the circus. Yes, officer. What do we need from this gentleman? Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, you failed to like most of the locals. I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement, but this affair has passed me by completely. Uh, yeah, I was just... Uh, this is actually... It's actually a funny situation because that's a check you want to fail. Because if you succeed... Uh, yeah, he, he throws it like a... Uh, Like Olympic. Yeah. In Martinez, the union is the law. So can you really blame them? Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. 
on the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. He doesn't know about the crime. Your time is better spent discussing politics. I'm confident they are indispensable in regard to all the paperwork and other administrative duties. But you must agree that nature, in her infinite wisdom, has made men more fit to perform certain more challenging tasks, don't you, officer? No reason to even feel bad about that. It's just the way of the animal kingdom. Yes, the terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. I do. Fire from heavy artillery. Why what? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Commies, communists, socialists, anarchists, call them what you like. They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty. Like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't so, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannons simply weren't big enough. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Because this place is a damn beachhead. Had to soften the commies up first. Okay, yes. back. Huh? The military coordinated and amphibious landing to take back Revachel. No, he's harassing elderly. Martinez okay, was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. Yeah, like the other two are up in Stella like Maris he and the Delta. He the bull into the ocean. The river, whatever. This here is blood ground, where coalition boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we're playing petonque on their mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. We can look at this game and think of the goddamn fucking fortune. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, officer. I hate those foreign stoic, dogs, but the, the enemy of my <laughs> enemy and all that, they're stoic. the lesser evil. Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on this city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, it's your own damn fault. You, we, the coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players at the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... What do you think? Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. <laughs> Capable of being shit. I think they're on something. <laughs> I think you're just hiding. Tell one of your fucking decisions.
I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned through Revachal, or even if that damn clan Fussel had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon yeah, signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. But this remember. is just what the commies wanted. This was the plan <laughs> all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. A true king in both blood and mind led Revachal before Frisell. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. Some manner of self-deceit is present in his thinking. Sounds like this Guillaume abandoned him, and he doesn't want to admit it. Damn Frisell. He was a king we couldn't protect. The Carabineers failed him, and the crown. He died in the hands of the Hyperle, in a very public execution. He slouches as he says that. It makes him smaller, admitting they left the king to the mob. The suzerain is the king! Has everyone forgotten already? Have they forgotten already? It's no use talking to you. A base story? You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. When we took our last stand against the fifth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. All you observe is a veteran refusing to let go of the past and his old uniform. This is not uncommon. This is the uniform of the Royal Carabineers in service of Frissel the First, Guillaume Le Lion, and the valiant King Philip V before him. Don't you mean Frissel the Fan? You do not speak his name, Craven, although he was a clown. But he was our clown, ours to ridicule and to mourn. <laughs> There's something you missed. Macron. You will get to it. <laughs> Don't worry. Son, you've really let yourself go. It's a disgrace. But Coach Physical Instrument is going to get you back in prime condition. Even if it takes a million push-ups. I too have schizophrenia. It's going to take blood, sweat, piss, and tears. But when I'm done with you, boy, you will be a master athlete. Behold, world. Here walks a sportsman, hands choked and hair kept back with a bandana. The Homo Athleticus. I have really held down myself. Uh, this is divine. Don's brain telling him to become fascist. <laughs> yes, that's what you need, Gaston. More padding on that fat ass of yours. I hope your heart gives out. Rene, tisk tisk, it's a little pleasure. Life doesn't need to be a, um, a struggle. Hello, officer. How might I be of assistance on this fine day? I'm sorry, officer. No. But I really don't share food. Nothing. You don't personal. just ask for it's a just sandwich. A principle. Bite. The only one you have. <laughs> Gay. Oh, that's good. More padding that's on that very fast. good. You must have other business then. It's a really good sandwich, too. 
going, oh, you'd have to be really to convinced you for me to keep up my as close to the coast Yeah, literally, like, that's, 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 that's very reasonable. That's you'd the sooner Koshine. get me into pyramid scheme, honestly. Well, join my pyramid scheme... Well, for sandwiches. Do I get a sandwich? Or? Yeah, we well. do. First, shit, you draw a circle about a half <laughs> what meter in diameter. What is on the sandwich? We made ours. Whatever you board. want, baby. Then, the order hmm. of play is determined by a coin toss. You win that it. That sounds too good. You to get to throw the cushion in. Then, the you players aim to throw their boards as close to the cushion ha, as I possible. I understand. The problem is, I they can't get a sandwich in from the circle home. And keep both feet planted. I'll mail it to you. You put that to knowledge to good use in 20, I mean yeah. 50 years. And how I I'm sure that's that still fresh. fresh. I don't like where this is going, officer. Um, trust. Don't you think we should do something Just trust now? me, bro. <sighs> Hurry up, then. My trust Let me see. is not a sandwich. I heard someone was hanged and left on a tree for a week. But that's all I know, really. No, officers, I'm sorry, and I really would like to assist. You are both good guys, I can see that. Then help them, you wimp. You have plenty of shoulder with the ghost caviar in the Union. Someone must know something. He needs caviar you. socialists. I wish I could, but I just don't know anything. I always keep my nose clean and don't gossip. Everyone knows and respects that. But he doesn't seem to be lying, but there's something off here. I'm not. I'm not even any Of course he's holding back. His mouth is so full of union prick he can't even speak properly. Can I at least finish my fucking sentence before you piss on it? Hit that okay, Rene? I'm not anyone impotent in the Union. I just know Evrard. French. Evrard Claire. Everyone in Martinez knows the Claire brothers. I taught these boys <coughs> human studies and history in the gymnasium. What do you know about history? You never witnessed history. Only heard about it years later, when it had already moved on. You don't know history. <laughs> the old soldier mumbles something under his breath and turns to face the sea. There he no, he's stands, not drunk, huh? proud, rigid and alone, like a cracking marble statue. True. Let's try not to get caught in a crossfire. Oh! In many ways, yes. Like an honorary member. I attend meetings and parties. Help with little things. Evrard, Edgar, and the older debarders all know me. Oh, yes. Not in the technical sense. I don't have a vote or a membership card. But Evrard keeps me on the payroll. Just for the little things. So that's what it was before. Him hiding he's something. He's a boomer. He tries to make it look like he's Get him a out of here. in the Union. And now the illusion is disintegrating before your and Rene's eyes. He doesn't know anything. Because no one tells him anything. He's an outsider. Of course he's not a member. He's not a member of anything. I knew that. He's a Vesavain. Turns to where the wind blows and tries to look important. I hate this socialist rabble, but even siding with them is better than living your entire life on the fence, never committing to anything. Pick a damn side already. Writing work mostly. Occasionally, he needs Sometimes something written, and I, I happen right. to have a way with Sometimes words, people say. Oh. Nothing French official, well, I assure you. Just essays for the newspapers. About Martinez and how things are and how they could be. 
have... Well, he tells his little penman exactly what to say. It's commie propaganda, plain and simple. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, thank you. For being consummate professionals. You'll have this case wrapped up in no time. Why? It's not yours. Volumetric you don't deserve compressor. the sandwich. The sandwich. Bizarre scientific news from Rivershall West today, where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen no levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at Dad. the center of collapsing stars, not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit's singularity lasts. Martinez streetlight sits among assorted floor and table lamps. Where did you come from? Yes, Where officer. You As you see, it's in perfect working order. His manner is casual, but his speech is careful, measured. He wants you to know that he has nothing to hide. It was brought to me to be altered. We are not here to investigate the theft of city property. You have to admit it's rather clever what he's done with it. The boomboxes on the shelf look well-loved and well-traveled. One especially catches your eye. Deep gold and amber plastic with a big old handle on top. A classic boombox that says Stereo 8 approved. Just make sure it works. The game has the disco in its thing. I was about to make that joke. Oh, yeah, but where's the Elysium? Well, yeah, it's the Harman Welshie W2. Like I don't paradise. know. Made in Vespa. Designed oh, in yeah. Seoul. Plays all real to real That's format. That's a fact. I didn't know. 2mm, 8mm, 12mm. It's even got a little radio in there. It'll set you back 12 real. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback, others in rags, others yet in bright blue uniforms. All are stern and unyielding in their duty. They're not all blue. These figurines also wear gold coats and caps, complemented by orange trousers. They are variously posed, wielding swords and yeah, rifles no. with bayonets. This is what the loyalists looked like, yes, at first. Then they wised up and got camouflaged. Which one? Ah, though. Yes, they are. I find the paint job a bit gaudy, but children like the bright colors indiscriminately. This set of soldiers isn't meant to look impressive. What are they gonna a do? Few have They're rifles, dead. But most of them carry pistols. Some even shovels and tall sticks. You're probably talking about the revolutionaries, yes? I think their poverty has been exaggerated for effect. 
When you place them next to the Royalist, it doesn't seem like they could possibly win. I don't like either set very much, to be honest. But there are many parents among my customers. Big men on big horses, clad in lamella armor and carrying flintlocks. The Franco Nigerian knights. I used to be very serious about these guys. Why? What's this? A headless man riding no. a horse. A headless man wearing futuristic tracksuit trousers that say foul. Oh, that's the headless phone rider. The Headless Fawn Rider. It's an urban legend. About a man who rides the streets of Revachol sporting a fawn tracksuit. Has 50 cents. Bargain price. I'll throw in the tiny cap too. I think he's looking for it, or something. That part of the story has many interpretations. Did I mention that this figurine is supposed to be lucky? Always carry it with you. Holy shit, you lost eight dollars. You're fucked. There's no coming back from that. Rolling that from there, so I can from this. <laughs> The financial ruin you've been plunged into will never be escaped. Mm -hmm. Make it so you don't die if you make one mistake on moral damage. Uh, I, in my first playthrough of this game, I am um, uh, I did one physical and I died uh, in the in the opening room getting my tie down. Uh, that was very funny. <laughs> it's a speedrun category. <laughs> <laughs> It's not often that I see officers from the RCM in my pawn shop. And yeah, it just requires what you can I do like for you? Minimal stats in this and just get the. His courtesy is not so. insincere, but he prefers Thankfully, being alone. The game with lets you die very just quickly. Just watching the movement of light across the walls of the shop. Oh no, not at all. I guess I haven't had many customers lately. RCM or otherwise. Who are your customers usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, travelers, people looking for a deal, people looking for a keepsake, people who are terminally bored. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. It keeps me entertained. Entertained? He might be high. If he is, on what? Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. Despair creeps into you. Getting fat. He died of weakness. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation. Yeah, right? that happens sometimes. He watches you melt down stoically from nothing you can say. 
if you're gonna die from the, for a realization Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism another police officer resigned from the rcm following a nervous breakdown i'm done no one even likes <laughs> No. You can get, you can get items that um uh, restore um uh, like. I can't believe it. It felt like springtime just a few. The moral of the story is don't sell your gun. I can't believe it felt like. Of course. Where to? No problem. I mean, I only ended up dying like twice in the whole game, and that was with my stupid one health. Uh, These manly men are playing Not get that sandwich. No, you got this. There's the ball. You're the game. You are immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter. You'll make it work. God, this is right. You feel the familiar tremble of excitement and adrenaline that precedes every victory. The cold metal ball is surprisingly smooth against your neck. It has a pattern on it, probably a sponsored ball. Yours would only be covered with bumps of yeah, learning you're like, and scars. Uh, basically, if you succeed, you confuse Already, with your muscles are adjusting to the weight. <laughs> a chilly breeze ruffles your hair as you stand there, feet oh, firmly oh. planted. All sounds, smells, even the wind, Everything fades until the only thing left is the union of man and Merde! Hotel de merde! A whole house of shit. It wasn't whole house of shit. The shot was at least 23 meters, probably 24, and then some. Nothing to be embarrassed about. What the hell is your problem? I don't care if you are a cop. Oh. You do mm. not just ruin someone's game. Mm. It's so goddamn disrespectful. You vandalized our game, son. We can't flip it on with five bulls. Well, it's damn well isn't. It's petonk. You ruined a petonk game. Take it easy, René. This is just a misunderstanding, isn't it? Look, Officer? they're just mad that you no harm done. done. Of course there's harm done, you oil slug. You are as a cope, goddamn cope, fool. Cope, cope. Good. Mistakes are forgiven. When men at least try to like their Can you get own. out of my room, please? I believe you Thank will you. Oh, yes, sorry. Now, why did you approach us? Yes, why did you come here? It's unlikely they know anything about the murder. And in Martinet, cop is... He doesn't know about the cop. No man can afford to turn his eyes to the horizon if his rear isn't secured. If the women folk take care of that, then men can tackle the bigger issues. It's as good a time as any to turn our attention to a different... Yes. The terrain here provides it... Uh, no. Why what? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country. Execute your supreme lead. Commies, communists, such sadly should have. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Because this place, yes, Martinez was used as one of the three. This year, it blowed ground. Mm hmm. Don't get me wrong, officer. I damn right. The rest of. Well, you don't. Eat. Thinking men have opinions. I'm sorry, I would. Instead, this is just what the commies damn for. He slouches as he says that. A truth. Some man. This is rain. It's no use talking to you. 
You were still in Daddy's borders when it happened. Dan spends the entire rest of the game saving every 20 minutes, doesn't die again. I have really. Yes! Prene! Tsk, tsk. Hello, officer. How might I let yeah, me say? But it's funny. I heard someone. No. Oh, then help me. Be mean. I oh, wait. What? He doesn't. I'm a very hard player. What's the. The old so There he. Let's try not to get caught in that. Oh. In many. Oh, oh yes. yeah. We're going to be not in daylight savings so time that forever. He now. doesn't know. Of course he's not. I hate this so it's really the hospital. Writing. Oh. oh well, he tells his little pen man. Hmm? No. What do you mean? Thank you. I'm Wait. sorry. The only one you have. I thought that was like the oh, first step that's of good. the installation, not like the finalized. Yeah. No, it just no it passed the sun at unanimous Lego. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that that uh, the only th it, it, Joe Biden could theoretically veto it, I suppose, but I don't know why he would. <laughs> we can. <laughs> The only thing, so um, uh, things the U.S. can unanimously agree on: daylight savings time. That's it. That's the only. That's the one. But yeah, no, it passed the Senate. So um, uh, the only way it won't get through is if like, I mean, I guess the Supreme Court could rule it unconstitutional for some reason. I don't know how. To make it a 73 amendment or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> many, 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 many. many. Hmm? Okay. No, no, go ahead, repeat that. I didn't hear what you said. I think it was very important. Yeah, if you were a pussy, go. Free stalkers oh. and mercenaries are uh, at ceasefire. Okay. We just, we just decided that we no longer are fighting each other in the middle of firefight. You see a Samaran no, street vendor early. surrounded by well, I mean, a that's pretty reasonable. of goods. When he realizes you're looking at him, his face breaks into a wide, welcoming grin. The name Sileng oh, is Mikey. embroidered over his breast pocket. Mikey, Happy oh, shopping, oh. officer! Everything's cool here! Wow! Everything's cool! The goods are cool, the customers are cool, the place is cool. And oh, one more thing, so good. officer, you're very cool. Bang, 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 bang! Oh, yes! You got style. You got personal style. You know what you like. You like premium men's There is way. a style. Look around and browse. Is it Everything a style there should be? A guy like you? Probably not. Take your time. Don't be distracted by the flattery and funny man act. Questions? Oh. Me? It's a boring sure story, like officer. Who cares about the past? I'm all business now. Oh, my all God. This man probably comes from Sea Guy, sometimes known as the Apricot Suzerainty, an archipelago in the Samaran Isola. Apricot Suzerainty calls to mind an era when the Sea Guy Archipelago was colonized by Revachol. It's a bit of a slur, in other words. That's right, officer. But it's a bad scene for business there. Too many regulations. Extremely bad for an independent local entrepreneur. Hey, why not support this local entrepreneur? You can start by buying a pair of sexy pants. Or cool sunglasses. Maybe some macaroni? Only the coolest goods in Revachol. I've got sneakers, speakers, Your extremely mother. comfy pants too. Your mother. Try That's them on right here. No shame, only freedom. 
good joke, officer. Just all these humans. So. <laughs> there we don't have permits. Just economic freedom. Take a look around. You glance around at the crippled like, buildings, the miserable like weather, the sidewalk you're, strewn you're with sunflower forest, seeds and a dust-choked air. But you it's aware beautiful. Beautiful freedom. Oh, you want water? I'll get you water. Okay. It is, yes. Anyone can set up their shop whenever they feel like it. That's right. No permits, no bureaucracy. That's why this city and its low officials are so cool. Hyper cool. I'm an entrepreneur, officer. I've got sources, buyers, suppliers, distributors, manufacturers, wholesalers. All extremely cool and above board. No need for discounts at ceilings, officer. Everything's already on sale. Anything you want, 50% off. But did he first mark them up 100% just so that he could put them on sale? Yes, it's a business secret. Let him keep it. Anything for you. There are clothes inside. Cheap second-hand clothes. Don't be shy. These are premium class clothes. Save the economy. That sounds off. You find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments made from weird polyester blends that make your body itch and sweat in all the wrong places. Economical, but also trendy. Look first-hand. Buy second-hand. Keep the economy moving. Something cold grazes your hand. Synthetic and sleek. A windbreaker. Surf, it says, but also wind. Summer. 100% waterproof. And sport. All in different typefaces. This jacket is the apex of human evolution. The moment at which man became weatherproof. Good choice, officer. Mega sporty. And it's only 450 for you, sir. There's a pile of cheap sunglasses. You like okay, sunglasses, back, huh? officer? I've got the latest style oh, no, right back. here. These are all boring. It's me. Yes. Boring third-rate ho-hum sunglasses made of cheap Sirais plastic. Call me that the kind I'm of back. plastic that melts in the sun. Those UV stickers are Reason. almost certainly just there for the show. If anything, these lenses probably direct more UV light into your pupils. These are all first-rate sunglasses. Premium design, superb material, very cool, UV resistant. These will definitely keep your eyes safe and cool. But oh, very interesting choice, officer. Very high culture. This is how a sea monster sees the world. You've become a sea monster. Giant, hidden, and strangely tender at heart. Wow, officer. You look so cool. And they can be yours for a mere three real. My regular customers have passed them all up because they've got no taste. But you found them. The lieutenant tilts his head and steps back, eyes narrowed in a thorough examination. It's a case to him. You look like a musician. Like a blind musician. But you could do worse. Take them if you want. You see two lowly, defeated speakers. Thralls. Slaves, basically. Perched atop them like... I can see you've a taste for luxury, officer. Can't keep your eyes off those sneakers? These once respectable speakers have been conquered. No, no, don't look at the speakers, officer. Look at the sneakers. 
the sneakers are the stars here. These officer, these speakers are Samaran garbage. I'm ashamed to even use them for props. Samaran trash. That sounds like they're from the Samaran People's Republic, produced under the dictatorship of the proletariat. No way, officer! These aren't for sale. They're bad speakers. Lo-fi socialist junk. Well, if you want them, but see, they are the pedestal for my sneakers. If I let go of the speakers, where will the sneakers go? I can't leave premium lifestyle sneakers on the ground. If, on the other hand, you wanted to buy the sneakers too, I could maybe throw in the speakers for a little extra. 50 cents? Damn, so you have to buy the sneakers first. A pair of found ultras. Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are the latest found sneakers. Super air, super fine, super cool. Only 50 real. Only? That's madness. Found ultra. We're the future. You remember the slogan from some magazine. generous serving of salami with an old hunter's knife. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the waterlock and on an enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal. His posture is relaxed. Despite his powerful build and the knife in his hand, this man resorts to physical intimidation only infrequently, if at all. I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Weird, huh? Then again, plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershall. Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here. Especially a water lock. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market, a bizarro church. Not much use to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. Yeah, not really much else. Just bombed out ruins. A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. Loose wires dangle from the now vacant holes. In the middle yeah. is a lever. Beneath it, a small metal plaque. This panel usually closes the water lock turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. But there's a crashed Samaran no, butter no, sign in the way, the pulling the leap. We are not here. You have to admit it's rather clever. Seven hundred real. Good night. A bargain, I dare say. There's also the matter of rewiring, but the most important transformation is the light's placement among ordinary indoor fixtures. 
which has adjusted its morph. The boombox one is just make sure it works before you buy. Absolutely. I've tested each one. My is the Harmon Welsh W2. If police work means playing tape. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the tape. Why? What's this? A headless man riding a horse. Oh, that's the headless. The headless. Fifty cents. Bargain. Did I mention? Big men. Franco Nigerian knights. They're not all blue. These figurines also. This is what the loyal. Which one? This set of soldiers. You'll probably talk. I think their poverty has been exact. I don't like. Often that I see office. What can I do? His courtesy is not you mean depression? Oh no. Who are your cut? All kind. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods. It keeps me entertained. He might be high. If he is, on what? I doubt it, but I can try and answer any I do my best to keep my distance from all manner of butchery. Bad for business. Bad for everyone. He doesn't know anything. The pawnbroker's gaze is already fixed on the dancing colors. Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. This is a pawn shop, and it did feel as if you've met before. Oh God, the lieutenant shifts from one foot to another, alert. You... you were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. You um, said you were uh, simply uh, loaned it to a service forever weapon for of a the Rava Shoal Citizens Militia. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts photon emissions. The unhealthy kind. She didn't seem like a policeman. Although she kept referring to herself as a pig. Which was odd. I found her interest in the gun a bit... Obsessive, but I was just happy to get rid of it and of her. Truth be told, she <coughs> was terrifying. Bless right, you. so let me get this right. You sold your sidearm issued by the citizen's militia, and now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with it? <sighs> yeah, it's not good. Why? I do hope we manage to clean this mess up somehow. That's your second Why amendment, right? My apologies, officer, but I have no idea. A needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it now. You just. Of course. Let me have a look. Anything else you're thinking of selling? Another time, perhaps. Sure thing. Sure, man.
traveler. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. From another planet. Hey there. It's the jam, my man. It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon days. Hmm. Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes and mazout. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. So tell me, what do you need? No, I'm not. It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands, no way in or out. Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. No. Like, a strike negotiator type. They know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. He doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side. That's for sure. Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. Us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Good. Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. What's better than chasing transient pleasures? The more transient, the better. He tries his best to look nonchalant, but there's a rigidity in him, as if trying to conceal something warm and deep beneath a cool exterior. He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. Yeah, he's All dead. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept he his is. nose out of the dark stuff. Analyzing the fundamental oh. structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Relax. He's merely joking. Can't even get a few jokes past you, my man. I've got another haul of found cargo. Mostly sporting goods, tracksuits and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grad and the Oxidans. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. This rockin' beauty. Sure is, like a rash you can't get rid of. A motor lorry? Also called a camion on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of found rust bucket. Maybe the A6. Good eye, my man. Yup, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. Not unless they've illegalized sports equipment while I was on the road. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> there he still is 
looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it the ammonia the second time. Not so much. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. Are you okay? You're facing tough odds here. It's aggravated further by alcohol with... No. You need to get your shit together. We should go talk to... You've gained a thought. When did... Give it half an hour. Get... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. No. Paid good money for that. Welcome to Ivashol. Don't you welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limb. What he means is, fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Revachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here? That I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air well, between them what gave you that tense. impression? Your oh. partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Perhaps the fact that his name was Racist Lorry Driver. You do make a cute couple, you know that? The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Whatever you say, officers. Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like, come on, sheep. I'm not just racist. Look, I've read books, huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved, even if uh, some people don't want to accept it. People who've studied these things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, 
We Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Open your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downturn, maybe? Huh? When members of the superiority cease to believe in their innate superiority, they stop competing for resources. This concerns you, policemen, so you better be vigilant. The damn kits are showing up good lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other intruder species, too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. No, you don't get that yet. Cultural victory? What is this, then? It's what the Kips of Boogie Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others, too, on the radio. Heard any chanson lately? Heard any motetos or leader? No. Dominating culture is how they plan to win. They say so themselves. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their birth place? You might end up with a new sub-race, with unknown characteristics leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. Don't push your luck, Runt. Lonesome. Long way home. Here we go. Home awaits. Walk past Station 41 and through the market. Past the Boogie Street Spearhead to the other side of the lake. The frozen eye at the center of the district. Then past the video rental store on the corner. There, at the end of a street lined with pine trees. A small house, no larger than a matchbox. 11 Voyager Road. You no longer live there. Those times are gone, and so are those people. Why did you come here? Why are you still here? And where's the dealer? You have to get back to work. That's all you have now. for something, Hunt. Come to tell me to fuck off again? I'm gonna go commit sleep now. Good night, nurse. Good night. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says one bottle equals ten cents. You see several packaged Infinite raincoats money here. fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only for Royale. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What? Yeah, you you talk normal. Oh.
What's that magazine she's reading? What, uh... Hordwation. I don't know. Frit? I think they think that the extra tea makes it funkier. It doesn't. The story goes that normal Fritta, with two teas, a men's workwear shop in Vredefort, was already taken. So when Fritta Retail Inc. grew into a multinational corporation, they had to add an extra letter to a. You mean this? This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. Yeah, they're kind of boring, but you know. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but. Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it. Not really. Um, no. I didn't know him at all. Um... No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Uh-huh. She looks up from her magazine. Yes. What we have is there. In the medicine cabinet. Go take a look yourself. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles. Their logo is the bloodless rose. Pure white. Um, just ask me if you need anything from St. Batiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium and Hypnogamma. Okay, here. I hope St. Batiste makes you feel better or something. A small cabinet on the wall is filled- St. Batiste. You know, the pharmaceuticals come- St. Batiste Pharmaceuticals. She is right. Saint Batiste, the company, derives its name from some- Um, I don't know. Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. I don't really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's uh huh. A colourful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall. There, in that dark green glass, all in vain. The great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol. Um, guess not, no. Good thing you're an unrecovering alcoholic then. I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health, but I guess you already know that. Know this, you will never finish your alcohol quest if you don't buy beautiful alcohol. What? <laughs> um the pale aged vodka is special, I guess. It's stored in pale for a couple of years, which makes it super expensive and super strong. Sure. So. The worker is on the counter, rolled out of his open hand. The man does not mind. 
You probably need them more than he does. You've just picked up some magnesium. A thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's cook. Well, As you step you. in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Garanzi and Kubek. Okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please don't call him Garanzi Kubek. Please, it's not funny. The man puts his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes boiling and simmering on the stove. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. The door does not budge. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? Hmm. Yes, I suppose it's worth seeing if we can get in. Just to be thorough, as a side investigation. Gart is the person to ask about this, the cafeteria manager. Volumetric shit compressor. Yeah, the game is very good, like, art design in general. Can I help you? Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. The Trash Collection Service, CS Municipal. Ah, the Dandy CS Dito. Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who I sent here last and when. Thank you, anyway. Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. Yes? Another thing. Great. I love the... Oh, yes, that door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not good. Fine, okay, a little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. Yes? Yes, have you got it? A lot. A lot like what? I... You see a heavy st the cobalt blue surface, the door does. Episode 57, almost to the bottom. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out. All right, ready? 
I turn, you press start. The dashboard lights up with orange glow. The Rouseman page jumps and the engine of the Caprice Canadian comes to life. The lights unfold with a little click. There you go. I'll turn them off from the remote once you're done. We just need to... As you hold your you latest clip cloud. under the headlamp, an iridescent hologram appears. A street grid and the veins of a great river. A familiar sensation washes over you. There she is. Revachel West. Around the borders of the watermark are dozens, no, hundreds of micro-perforations. The rectangular watermark is overlaid with the logo of the RCM, and yet the major arteries of Revachol are all recognizable. A rat brazenly darts past you and disappears amongst the stock lorries. In the distance, a child somewhere shrieks. A woman reprimands her in a voice no quieter than the child's cry. Ah, Martinez. Let me see. Right here. Oh, yes. Coal City. Le Royaume. The Burnt Out Quarter. There are many of them, and they are divided into three separate. The first row has 18 dots. The next is the longest. It runs all the way. There are so many, it's hard to count. More than 100. The last row has three perforations. That's it. Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer of the RCM. They are your statistics, as it were. Alpha male officers who are proud of their numbers often do. It's meant. Son, here is where we score your life performance. You better hope it's good. The first row <laughs> represents your years of service. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? Maybe you were a diplomat, or in PR. Doesn't matter, I suppose. This next row, the one that wraps all the way around, is your number of closed cases. Closed is good. It means finished. You've got, let's see, wow, more than 200. It's quite a lot, even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. Right. Those are your confirmed kills. You've got precisely three perforations there. Confirmed kills. That sounds pretty evil. A drink would soften that feeling. For an RCM officer, especially Precinct 41, which is in the Jamra Quarter, it's rather tame. I mean that in a good way. There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. But it seems as though you are, or at least were, one of the good ones. So we have that to be thankful for. Yes. Everyone has their own method of coping. Some more effective or self-destructive than others. Personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. Oh, this and that. Let's not get into it now. Anything is better than annihilating yourself with drugs and alcohol. The lieutenant nods. Right. I'll go turn off the lights. You can now see your statistics on your journal page. Yeah. Wow. Hey, 
So we've been monitoring you internally, and now we know your copo type. Guess. Yes, sorry cop. The cop who's sorriest. Let's make it official then, shall we? Oh, you know, Apocalypse, Superstellar, the advanced interesting cop, Liquid Shadow cop. But you're too sorry to say those things. So, here we go. Yes, yes, impotent rage and lamentation. Let's wrap it up? No, you don't. Come on, you'll be back to saying sorry in two minutes. Stop, wow. Okay, fuck off. Maybe we were wrong about you then. The dented yellow mailbox. We're not even eating with... steak. Huh? The box seems happy. Eat shit, pig, fucked by the coon, and sent G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore, and best set mailbox also. The mail collection box seems cathartic, thankfully even, so do you. I better solve crime. Yeah, you solved the square bullet hole murder, so... Well, I mean, it was a pretty obvious murder weapon, in my opinion. There, he still is. A gun that shoots square right bullets. So... With his white eyes. The body... As you breathe in, the odor comes over you. It's a spell of the mind telling you to run. And your stomach to wring itself empty. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins, and blotched by lividity. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. Delicate and fragile, they feel alien to the world around you, out of place somehow. These are clearly not boots. They're armor. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the hill. Fairweather. Fairweather model T500VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. It is. It's expensive. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabularies deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. For a full set, about four years of wages. For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income is 5,500 real, unadjusted for rank. Not too much, yes. It's a sorry situation, I agree. That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbor Company, but that's just hearsay. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. A small bell-like sound fills the air. The pry bar in your hand is itching for some action. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally, from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. Faint, organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates, like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant wood materials, like lignum vitae and ebony, perhaps. If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross-sections would look like. The smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate interconnections. The worlds are in the shape of a letter and number combination. E50-100-1000.
Good. Can you read it to me? We have a make and a number. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. Either station can chase it for us. The locals probably scavenged it. It would be odd if he had more on after seven. We should keep a lookout for these species. The armor could yield information. This is one thing he might actually know. No, I think he had something precious underneath the clothes. They had to remove the jeans and shirt we found to get to it. Nice. That makes sense. They usually hang them completely naked for that. La puta madre. The Mazda. The Besmertis and the like. <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. Clearly Kuno would like to interject something here. But there's not enough for him to hold on to. The cadaver slowly twists. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. This is a steel-reinforced cargo lashing belt, big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six-rotor airships. Oh my, there's something on the belt. A familiar word that speaks to the thirst within you. Vermilion, in yellow letters, along the length of the twisting cargo belt. Extremely. Airlifting. I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. The brief suggested as much, politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Did you not get a briefing? Then you should ask me the first moment we get. <coughs> I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. That ladder can't carry a grown man. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? I think... Could be. The shape of the branch supports the theory. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. Limbs limp and torso covered. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso. From the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. The concentration is highest around his heart. A map of the stars. I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Great century Messinian, maybe. But this seems more particular. As if someone left out most of the night sky, filtering it through personal choice. The principle of this filter remains unknown to you. So am I. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound. A shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, rolling out. In case we need it. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter to us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Here, a souvenir. Don't lose it. The glossy-eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute 
and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode. From the organ of the corpse is dead silent. Who is he? He is male, 40 to 50, with an athletic build. The corpse looks right through you as you distance yourself from. Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. It, as you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green. I see it. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. The monster comes back into focus. So, what do you think? Agreed, especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. I think he's dead. The hypostasis supports a hanging. Everything here seems to corroborate that assumption, but we should still get him down before assigning a probable cause of death. I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. It means you fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal-like. A pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck he's saying? <sighs> Talking about shit. Did we? I don't feel lucky. But there is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your, the material a delicate and f these are clearly not boots. Indeed. Ceramic under the heel. The stench fills your... Stop! Pig's gonna pull his head off. <laughs> Brutal! You're going to pull his head off. Do it, homo! Pull his head off. There's no point performing an autopsy if you do. Indeed. From this angle, it does look like the neck isn't going to take much more. What are you trying to achieve, anyway? Why are you hanging on to that boot? How many clothes do you need? You already found a number. There's no way you're getting them off. All the organic matter in his body has been flowing down into the boots. They are fused to his feet now. You're sure there's a way to peel them off. But first, the body needs to be down. And second, it would probably be better if the lieutenant wasn't around. All right then, you can pay the hostel bill in honor points. How many honor points have you collected? Of course there aren't. Don't be naive. Processing will take care of them. With the situation in the morgue, it will yield nothing. But we must pick our fight. The cadaver slowly twists on the car. So am I. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material.
someone else? You mean, like, the police? What was that about processing, then? Weren't they supposed to take care of the boots? Why don't they help? <laughs> no. Think of the boys from processing as murderers. Only instead of people, they murder crime scenes. Processing is a wrecking crew. They know how to commission off items and how to work the incinerator. And I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern. No, I just we need to, to get him down fast. Climb up there and saw the brand. There has to be a less risky way, with less falling down of trees. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. It but what other options? A corpse twists on the belt, like chicken on a skewer. Yeah! Bang bang time, pig! Shoot his head off! How? Where the buckle ties the rope to the branch. That's a good spot to aim. Where? Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to relieve the belt. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain a Kuno with some shit. They'll miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. I'll blow his head off. Take it. T yeah, take the shot. Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant and produces a lightweight firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel separates the scouring stick and gives the cartridge five tucks. That's a Kiel A9090 armistice, mass-produced muzzle loader, ascetic, frugal, one of the most common firearms in the world. He then steps back and assumes the fellow Stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air. And God damn it. Fuck you, idiot! Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno's not fucking handicapped, is he? Kuno's sorry too. Kuno feels sorry for the Vino cloud. The lieutenant doesn't say a word, just looks at the gun in. No. We are lucky as it is. We didn't break anything, and the victim remains uncompromised. Any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. It's bad as it is, us shooting firearms like punks. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. Just don't lose it. <laughs> this is the sorriest pair of pigs Kuno's ever seen. Nani Boyka, take it and shoot yourself in the mouth. The cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal is surprisingly light. Your fingers fit right through the guard, instinctively resting on the trigger. The fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? Tell him to shoot himself in the mouth. The buckle comes into focus in your sights. You stand with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting your gun arm. Why don't you just shoot yourself in your f mouth? At least you won't miss. Or what? You're gonna fuck me? You wanna fuck me, pig? Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves, becoming entirely two-dimensional. The slow movement of the branch in the wind. <laughs> Look, he's crying. You gonna cry now, fucking faggoty? They're children! You can't point a gun at children, you're a police officer. What do you think this is, America? Go ahead, try it. Worst you can do is miss. So. The buckle explodes into tiny pieces, coming loose with a whir, with your hand numb from the recoil. You look at the body slump down. For a moment, the man appears to kneel in front of you, looking straight at you, helpless, trapped within itself. Communism. It takes a millisecond for the association to flash within your cortex. You have no idea where it's coming from. 
Only that is right. Then the rigor in his muscles gives up, and he smashes sideways into the spring mud, letting 